You may be seated. Our God is great. We know this. We know this because we do see God's power and presence in our lives because we do know that God provides for us. And our job, when we recognize God's power, presence, and provision, is, of course, to turn and give thanks. Um, earlier in the service, in a way, we gave thanks to God for providing a team that can help lead this church. And now what we're going to do is properly give thanks for a communion table that we will gather around for years to come as a community. Um, so one more, Jeff Zwer, thank you so much for making this communion table for us. Thank you, thank you. But more importantly, we thank God for blessing this church with the resources we need just at the right time that we need them. Um, when we first moved into this building, I'm going to do like a little recap here. When we first moved into this building, God provided this pulpit, which was also made for us, made by my stepdad, who doesn't necessarily believe that women should preach, but I mean, here this pulpit is. Um, God also provided us with this piano that came into this church uh, shortly after this pulpit and was from another church that was closing. Uh, our baptismal font was purchased for us during the pandemic and for our first baptism that we celebrated in the garage on a freezing cold Easter morning. Um, and now here we are with this table. God provides and we are grateful. God shows up in ways that are powerful and tangible if we have the eyes to see it. Um, I do believe that God's power is something that we get to see every week when we come around this table. Because each week we are reminded that on the night he was betrayed, Christ took bread. And he broke it, saying, This is my body, which is broken for you. Take, eat, and remember me. And after the meal, Jesus took a cup of wine and poured it out, gave thanks, and he passed it among his disciples, saying, This is my blood, which is shed for you, for the forgiveness of your sins. Take, drink, and remember me. Every time we share this meal, we share in Christ's extraordinary and powerful life and presence. And then what we do is we recommit to embody Christ's exemplary life, love, and presence in the world around us. We're going to do that today while also dedicating this table. This table cannot make promises to us in the same way a steering committee can, but we can make some promises around this table, and we're going to do that this week. And so as you come forward, as we normally do, you'll come down this aisle, I'll have the bread, you'll hear the words, the body of Christ broken for you, Jeff will have the wine, which is in this cup, juice is in this cup. You'll dip your bread um, in one of those cups, and then come around this table to partake. And as you partake or after you partake, take a moment to just say a prayer for the life of this church. Um, it might get a little bit of like log jammed up here, and that's okay. We just want everybody to take this seriously. And just pray for this church um, and come together around this table this Sunday. So um, pray that the love we find at the table each week would spill over into the world around us. So these are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks.